Hey everybody, thanks for checking out ReliantTechnology.com. Today we're talking about disaster recovery. And I want to give you guys three tips that one of our customers put in place to save over $500,000 on a disaster recovery project. This customer was a large hospital at 1,800 employees. Uh, a new CEO was brought in to really modernize the hospital from an IT infrastructure standpoint. When they, when they initially looked at their data center, they knew they needed to buy a new SAN. And basically, tip number one, um, what they need to do is they need to compare against new and used technology when they built out this new SAN. When they scoped it out, they engaged EMC, and they realized they needed about 40 terabytes of disk of production and 40 terabytes of DR to mirror that data from point A to point B. Uh, they got the option back from EMC, and they just couldn't afford it. Uh, they reached out and knew of ReliantTechnology.com. So they reached out to us, and basically we put together uh, an option for them for a, uh, a used EMC CX4 240 with about 40 terabytes of pride and 40 terabytes of DR. That option alone saved them over $350,000 just on that one option. The second tip which you can employ if you're building out a DR site is you can look at replication uh, software. If you're using EMC or IBM or Hitachi, you have options. You don't have to use the native EMC or IBM or Hitachi uh, replication solutions. You can use things like Inmoj. You can use things like Oracle Data Guard. What they ended up using was Commvault to move that data from point A to point B, and that saved over $50,000 on that, that piece of the software alone. The third tip that you can look at is your switch infrastructure. If you're putting a new SAN together or you're expanding your SAN, chances are you're going to need some switches. And you're also going to need FCIP switches to move the data from point A to point B. If you go to the used market, uh, you can buy FCIP switches for about $8,000. If you buy them new, it's going to cost you anything from $20,000 to $40,000 per switch. So they ended up saving over $80,000 when they bought these used switches for their SAN, which are Brocade 4100s and some data FCIP switches. Those three techniques, those three tips alone, saved the customer over 500 grand. They were able to buy some pretty cool things like Citrix software, VMware, and they actually are uh, about to implement an archive solution solution for their, uh, their X-ray imaging using Commvault as well. Pretty cool. If you've already got a DR site in play, here's a couple things you want to be thinking about this year too. Think about moving some of your production assets to DR and dual purposing DR for test dev as well as DR. It'll give you a chance to maybe upgrade a production this year to give you more performance and it'll save you some money to enhance DR by moving some assets from here to here. The second thing you want to look at and think about is make sure DR is sized to hold tier 2 and tier 3 data. You'll, you'll do a quick analysis and you'll say, hey, I really want to replicate Oracle or I really want to uh, replicate all my ERP infrastructure. Make sure you've got enough space over here to hold uh, some of those important tier two assets too because you're going to need those to provide the glue to restore your business if there is a disaster. So I hope you guys got some good value out of this today and um, you know, like I said, the hospital saved 500 grand. If you guys are looking to do a DR project this year, um, look forward to engaging with you. Contact Reliant and talk to a storage consultant. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for checking it out. Have a great February.